Minister responsible for Her Majesty's Prisons, Myron Walwyn, went on record to suggest that Acting Superintendent of Prisons, Charles Forbes, be considered as an option for the position of superintendent at the prison, before Governor Boyd McClary announced the appointment of David Foote on October 4th. Walwyn had expressed concerns with having a person from outside the territory, and in particular the United Kingdom, leading the prison here in the Virgin Islands, noting that it's a matter of national security. The minister's concerns were communicated by way of a letter he sent to the Public Service Commission in June. In that letter, Walwyn alluded to concerns on the ground about non-Virgin Islanders slowly taking over leadership positions, adding that the matter is also a grave concern on the part of the staff at the correctional institution. A release from the Governor's office dated Friday 4th October announced that Governor Boyd McClary, acting in accordance with Section 92 of the Virgin Islands Constitution, had appointed David Foote as Superintendent of Prisons. The October 4th release from the Governor's office says David Foote joined the Prison Service of England and Wales as a prison officer in 1991 and since then has served in every uniform grade in a number of different positions. His postings have included male prisons, high security prisons, female prisons and most recently working as the deputy prison governor and governor of a young offenders institution. He is also said to have an excellent track record of ensuring that prisons are well run, safe and secure and is focused on seeking to reduce reoffending by providing effective rehabilitation services for prisoners. However, Walwyn had indicated in his letter to the Public Service Commission prior to the appointment of Foote that from a historical point of view, the prison has never been led by someone from outside the territory. Noting that Forbes had strained relations with the late Superintendent Holder and did not get the development needed before being trusted into the position without the necessary tools at the passing of Holder, Walwyn suggested that the Edwards Consultancy Group who recently produced a five-year strategic plan and standard operating procedures for Her Majesty's prisons be asked to return to work for a contracted period. The minister said Edwards Consultancy could provide the necessary leadership for the prison and ensure that Charles Forbes receives the mentoring he needs. JTV News, Sean Rose.